Well, as you can see, it's a beautiful day. As you can see, the Rancho Max grass is tall. Friday. It's a shade uh, around noon. That means I got honeydew grass. But the lady gets some from the house from New York tomorrow. I had one of my neighbors stop by and brought me a old knife she wants me to clean up for her. Old carbon steel knife. I've cleaned it up some already. Called uh, Flint USA. I've got some of them, as a matter of fact, from my mama who had them. I've, uh, I still got a lot more work to do. I cleaned the handle up. Took some of the major rust off. Some. I got some more work to do to it. While I was doing that, I got a call from a fella who wants me to come by, pick up two knives for him. And then my accountant calls. He needs some more paperwork or something. So I got to go by there, pick that up. So I've got some honeydews and things to do here this morning. Um, you know, Denny went to the race the other day at Richmond. I got it hanging out and straightened out a little bit. He brought me a junior poster, a National Guard. Mr. Dale Earnhardt Jr. He brought me a nice, uh, like a little plastic carrying thing. With a number 15 car. And he brought me what I do with it. Oh yeah. A Geico cup beer cooler. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> okay. Stand by. Oh, yeah, I got to meet the other guy. That, the first customer I had, he had five knives, if you remember from yesterday. I'm going to meet him in about an hour and a half to drop his knives off. More pocket ammo. Stand by. Damn, I mean, uh, Danny got me a, a junior sticker for my car. Dale Jr. I forgot to show you that a minute ago. Well, I just picked up what I thought was supposed to be two knives. Sometimes uh, in the translation, things get messed up. <laughs> I got two pair of scissors. I said he's had the big scissors since 1972. Now I'm headed to the cat food store. Now it's starting to sprinkle a little bit, huh? You can't see it, but it is really light. Sprinkle. Damn. Well, I finished up that rusty looking old knife the lady brought me. Inbound to the cave. Rain has uh, ceased, I hope. The little sprinkle that we had. Danny's at the barge. Beaver's uh, thinking about going out front where we live here. I ain't talked to the guru. Stand by. So we take a peek right here, see if anybody's in the hole here. Nobody's. In. There's Denny. Denny's at Tenth Bay. That's where he is. Well, you see the sand came to the pipe. They must have stopped for the weekend. Come right up to the pipe. I guess they're going to come all the way down. I don't know. That's what we heard anyway. Finally, it's just some baby waves. The bar is making up a little bit there. Eyes low in about an hour. Stand by. Okay. Well, we got a killer sound here. A killer sound, I say. Still there, too. This might be the biggest pull tab in the ocean view. see anything in there. Nice piece of glass. Must be still in the hole. Stand by a minute. Five cent. Green five cent. Target number two. Sounds good. Louder. Oh, 
one bigger dime. Well, I made it down to the cave. You see, we still got three, two and a half steps showing. But we got a lot of new rocks. Now, these rocks have not been here. But you and I have been down this wall many times. And these rocks weren't here. They just came in here from somewhere. See them? Come right there. All these are new. They've never been up against the wall like this before. But there's a lot of sand up against the wall. All this sand that was up here has moved down here and brought these rocks in from somewhere. Stand by. Well, there wasn't much down there. We'll go up these steps and go on the other side here a minute. Take a peek on this side. Looks pretty good. See two duckies. What are you squawking at? Huh? These quackies right there. Stand by. We're hunting right on this drop off. Um, beach runs down. You can see it right there, that drop off. See it? It's about knee deep. Just, just below my knees. Right up to that slope right there. Ain't found much. But it could be right here. The next 10 minutes, 10 seconds, 10 hours. You know, Mel Fisher said, right? Today could be the day. But well, today is the day. <laughs> Stand by. Who do you think that is? <laughs> they have a battery. Man, we got a killer high sound here. Killer high sound, I say. It's a ring too, some kind of ring. Not a gold ring, but a tungsten or something like that. Stand by. Big old fat thing. Might be silver. Turn dark like it is. A loud sound. Maybe it was heavy like a tungsten. I mean, uh, yeah, tungsten. Can't see anything, but that's what it appears to be. Might be a mix or something, you know. It's a big old fat thing, though. I'm down by the second pipe now, and you can see well that east wind we had. It pulled all the sand down, pushed it up in this little pocket like this. Made a sandbar right out here in the middle. That wind does some strange things to the beach. All this big stuff floating around out here, big blocks of that. That's all new sand right there, moved in from up there, pushed up there. Damn, here comes somebody spinning down the lane here. I don't know who that is. What a fish are you? New face in the lane. Never seen that guy. Never. I dug a nickel a minute ago. I got two nickels now. I worked this little place right here. I think this sanded in real bad here. To, I'll move on the other side and take a peek on the east side of this pipe. Oh, hold on a minute. We're going to investigate this. Sounds okay.
Well, I'm looking. I don't see anything. I do hear a null now. That I didn't hear before. Yeah, the null right there. Stand by. As I move along the pipe to go across right there, I got a little hit right here. I don't know if it's any good or not. Sounds iffy. I think we got it out. Oh, it's a sinker. A piece of gray matter. <laughs> First gray matter of the day. We got another hit right here. High hit. Like silver, maybe. Come out of there, baby. Come out of there, you little taquito. Well, we got it. It's silver, I mean a quarter or something like that. Looks like a quarter. Yeah. Clad quarter, I think. Yeah, first quarter of the day. Glad quarter. God! It was the first quarter. Then as I swing it this way, I got another hit, another quarter. It's a fat quarter. I'm hoping it's not a clad quarter. It's got a lot of crap on it. Oh, I don't like it now, though. Damn, I thought I found a silver quarter, but I didn't. I don't think. Not no, but hell no. God. You're on a little goose. There's one quarter, there's another quarter. And there's a four scoop hole deep something right there. I think it's a wheat penny. Yeah, it is a wheat penny. One set. Taquito. Four scoops deep that baby was. Ha! Damn, all that stuff got washed off this bank. That east wind pulled it down here next to this pipe. See what else we can find in here. Well, we didn't have to go far. There was a penny. Here's something right here. It's low like a pull tab. little I don't see nothing well oh, there it is a little teeny piece of copper or something or other maybe the, oh yeah I think it's a back end of a 22 yep Well, we're on the other side of the pipe now. Got a nice hit here. Oh yeah, it's nice, all right. 
just what I was looking for on my scoop. Just the ticket I was looking for. So we got a nice sound here. Nice load sound. Shells, and I can tell you that rocks and etc. I don't see anything. I see it. It's a nickel now. I think. See it? You probably can't see it right there. Stand by. Five meter cent. Looks like 1998. Nice old Chevy truck right here in front of me. ring I've been trying to clean it up but it won't clean up too good it's stuck it on whatever it is I wait till I get home I have to drop it off at Denny's and get him to clean it up with his ultrasound tumbler but it's, he uses stainless steel shot he calls it jewel it's called jewelry mix I tell you one thing the things that he's done for Kenny I mean and for himself you know the silver things that he finds it does a fantastic job Whatever that silver mix is, some kind of stainless steel balls and, and pellets and triangles and pointed things. He says it's a concoction of stuff, but it does a hell of a job on that stuff. I can tell you that. Stand by. We're going by that Chevy now. That baby is nice. Yes, sir. We're making a hell of a detective mobile right there. Well, what I didn't tell you was I stopped across the street from where we detect that is that Italian restaurant that we all eat at called Franco's on Friday night. I got a spaghetti and uh, sausage dinner to go so I could go home and have some dinner since Chris is not home. Chris is coming home tomorrow finally. Two weeks is up. With you grandbaby. Okay. See you in a little bit for the roundup. Well, there's that knife from this morning. I worked on her for about an hour on a Cali. Turned out pretty nice considering what it looked like. Some oil on the handle now, that's the only thing I haven't done. I did sand it down some, but I haven't put the oil on it yet. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I don't have enough hands. Stand by a minute. Baby sharp, dude. Old carbon steel, old rusty piece of junk. She turned out nice. Carbon steel get sharp easy too, buddy. Look at that thing. <laughs> Dab, she's bad. Sausages and spaghetti. Bread. Look. Catman do. Catman do food. Made possible by you PayPal guys. I'm not going to mention your name because you know who you are. It's two of you. Made all this possible. And gas money. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Well, there's a roundup. On their high-powered microscope, I should say, 
40 power loop. 40. You can read tungsten carbide quite well. Four nickels, two quarters. Oops. I thought I had two dimes, but I don't know. One wheat penny, no date. Two gray matters. That's it. Everybody went today, did okay. Nobody found any gold, but everybody found a ring of sorts. Danny found a silver chain and a ring of sorts. And Beaver, I think Beaver found a ring too, but I can't remember. If, I, you'll see it in his nut picture when I put it up there. He found a lot of targets, Beaver did. He hunted down here where we live. Danny went to the crane, which I told you already. I talked to Gary. Gary hunted this morning at low tide at 5 a.m. Didn't find anything of any consequence. But yesterday he found three rings. He had a three ring day yesterday. All junk. But at least he found three rings in one day. That's I think that's a record for him. Okay. Knife gig in the morning. Spin in the afternoon. Maybe. The lady of the house is driving back from New York tomorrow morning. She'll be here in the evening, so I should be okay. We'll have to play that by ear. See you later.